Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to whitelist IP on GoDaddy. So the first thing you would like to do, of course, is just go and open your browser that you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. That should take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen of the GoDaddy website. Of course, if you don't have it in English for any problems, uh, like it gets translated sometimes, you can just go down here into the, until the bottom of the page and change the language from here and even the currency if you want. Of course, once you set with that, you can just go and log into your account by this top right corner option. You'll find the sign in option and sign up option if you don't have an account. Choose whatever of those. And once you're logged in into your account, as we said, we would like to know how to whitelist the IP. So how to allow or deny the access of some AP IP. You can just go to your products, of course, page. And once that's, you are at this My Products page, make sure to in their website and security and backups option. Of course, you will find it like this. You'll find like domains. And here you will normally find the website security and backup if you have it in your domain name as well. For me, I don't have it. But for you, of course, next to that website security account you want to manage, you will have to select manage. You will find the manage option like this. Once you click on it, of course, you will have to go into uh, the details option. You will find this under the firewall. Simply then select details and just select settings from there. Then, of course, you'll simply have to select the access control and you'll have to select the allow IP address to allow an address or select block IP address to block an IP address. Of course, you can even type the IP address into the add new IP text box and then select how long you want to allow or to block the address. Of course, it could be permanently or it could be like for certain times that you want. So that's all actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.